Hello guys and welcome back to yet another tutorial. So I just want to quickly apologize for not making any tutorials recently. However, you know, as promised, I will be uh, continuing my crying gym tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to be covering, uh, you know, spawn points. Uh, as I said in my series introduction, I'm just trying to keep to that at the moment. So uh, let's just go ahead and keep going and see what we can do. So I've set up a little test area here, nothing too fancy, no awesome terrains because I actually lost my world but if I go in it just spawns wherever you know my camera is and we don't really want that whenever the player starts the game you want to set somewhere for them to actually spawn you know you want them to if you want them to be on a sort of linear storyline you know you're gonna want them to start you know away from the action you know maybe here and they have to run over there so we're gonna be able to compensate for that and pretty much set where we want to spawn so at the moment I've just got a couple of things these are completely irrelevant and you do not need to worry about them. So uh, first of all let's just go over to our entity and grab ourselves a spawn point. You can find that in multiplayer and you can just place that wherever you want. So just grab that in and drag it straight in and just oh god what's happened there. Okay there we go. So this is our spawn point. This little guy in a little running location and if we just press control G now you'll notice nothing's happened. I didn't actually spawn there. I'm just gonna go over here just to so get a better view of that and as you can see absolutely nothing happened and it's completely pointless. So what we need to do is we need to go into the flow graph and actually set up some commands to tell it how to work. So first of all to get a flow graph as you know we need a container for that so let's just quickly select this uh, spawn point if I can bloody things getting in my way what's going on here herp derp uh, give me a moment okay sorry about that I kinda messed up I forgot that I gotta click this a little bit down here whenever selecting it so keep that in mind because if you just press the yellow bit or uh, it's not always gonna work so make sure you just click this so once you've done that just go ahead and right click and go to create flow graph you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna name this uh, spawn point for the time being and we now have our flow graph so I'm just gonna quickly expand this a little bit and some of you probably gonna be wondering what on earth am I gonna do here so uh, it's very similar to kismet actually so if you've got a, an, uh, like an entity or an actor selected you can add it straight in so let's go ahead and do that let's go to add and then selected entity and now we have our spawn point uh, keep this in mind that if you do have new spawn points you can see uh, you know they're gonna have different values well well IDs but yeah so we've got a spawn point in here now so how are we gonna know what to do with that you can see we've got a few different things disable enable and spawn what we really want to use right now is spawn because we're gonna be telling our player to spawn there <laughs> as you probably guessed so let's just go in and add a new start node a start node is due for when you know player spawn or level loaded event if you're familiar with kismet so we've got that now and you know we've got in editor uh, in game so Let's just go ahead and drag the output over to spawn, and it should work now. Uh, you don't really need to worry about in-game and in-editor at the moment. Just completely ignore that. I'm just going to drag this to the side, and you're going to see, if I go over here, press Control g it's actually moved me over to the spawn point. Uh, sometimes it may not work straight away, so you may want to just generate or AI, or you may just want to generate all AI, AI just to make sure that's working and it should work perfectly. So um, that's pretty much all I really wanted to cover. I try to experiment around with a whole bunch of different things such as uh, you know forcing AI to spawn at spawn points, uh, you know going into vehicles, there's loads and loads you can actually do with spawn points. So uh, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.